What is going on, Max Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna to be doing a speed test between the Galaxy A20 and the Galaxy J7 Crown. Stay tuned. The first thing I want to discuss here is the internal specifications of each device. Now with the Galaxy A20, we have an octa-core CPU inside of it here with two cores clocked at 1.77 gigahertz, or in other words, 1.8, while the other six are clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Now you get three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, and the device is also going to be coming with Android 9 Pie out of the box with security patch January 1st, 2020. Now with the Galaxy J7 Crown, we have an Apple Core CPU setup as well, which has two cores clocked at 1.59 and the other six are clocked at 1.56. Not that much of a difference when it comes to frequency, but they are a little different. Now you get two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, and the device also has Android 9 Pie with security patch of July 1st, 2019. Not exactly marbles to marbles when it comes to the speed test here, but both devices are octa-core CPUs, so let's see what happens. But in terms of on paper here, the Galaxy A20 does take this W, so right now it is currently up one to zero. Now with the next part of the speed test here, what we're gonna discuss are the internal specification numbers when it comes to using a 2.2 benchmark in Geekbench. Now with the Galaxy J7 Crown, unfortunately Geekbench doesn't function on this device, so I won't be able to provide that score for that CPU, but for the Galaxy A20, I have it. So back on February 25th, I did test Geekbench here on the device, and I got a single core score of 271 and a multi-core score of 1,000 even. And when you look at the 2.2 benchmark scores on each device, you can see that the Galaxy A20 scored a 124,951, while the J7 had 114,643. So a 10,000 point difference in between two devices and so being that that difference is that big, I'm gonna go ahead and give this W to the Galaxy A20 as well. So unfortunately here, we flew through the first two categories here, the speed test fairly quickly with the Galaxy A20 being up to zero. So with this next part of the speed test, hopefully the J7 can make up some ground. So with this next part of the speed test here, what we're gonna be doing is opening up a series of applications to see which device opens up each app faster. And afterwards, I test the RAM on each device to see which device holds that application better in the background. After doing that, I determine the winner. So the first app we're gonna test here is Play Store. So three, two, one. And that goes to the Galaxy A20. The next app we're gonna open up is YouTube. So three, two, one. And that goes to the Galaxy A20. The next application we're going to open up here is Amazon. So three, two, one. I believe that was a tie. So yeah, tie. The next application we're going to open up here is Instagram. So three, two, one. And that goes to the Galaxy A20. The next application we're gonna open up here is Facebook. So three, two, one. And that goes to the Galaxy J7 Crown. The next application we're gonna open up here is Twitter. So three, two, one. And that goes to the Galaxy A20. And the last application we're gonna open up here is Spotify. So three, two, one. That goes to the Galaxy A20. Now, when it comes to the app opening part of the speed test here, the Galaxy A20 definitely opened up more applications than the J7. I believe J7 only opened up one faster. So now we're gonna go ahead and test the RAM. Now, being that one device has a little bit more RAM than the other, probably isn't that fair of a test, but this is for entertainment purposes. If I had a guess, I'll say the A20 held the applications better in the background. Let's find out. Play Store held in the background by both. YouTube, held in the background by both. Amazon, 
Hellbutter 820, Instagram, Hellbutter Galaxy 820, Facebook, Hellbutter Galaxy 820, Twitter, Hellbutter Galaxy 820, I'm not sure what's going on with the J7, Spotify, held by both. So when it comes to this part of the speed test here, the app opening test and RAM management, the device that took this one here was the Galaxy A20, clearly. And that is probably due to the fact that it had one more gigabyte of RAM than the J7 Crown. So at this point in the test, the Galaxy A20 is up three and the J7 Crown has zero. So in real world testing and real world numbers here, the Galaxy A20 has already won the speed test. But let's keep it going for the sake of entertainment because I want to see which device actually performs the best in the next part of the test. So let's see. So with this next part of the speed test here, what we're going to be doing is installing three of the top applications here in the Play Store. Now, of course, with each device having different size screens, different CPUs, all that mumbo jumbo, that does factor in into how fast a device can install an application. But for the sake of entertainment, as I said before, Let's go ahead and see which device is faster. So the first application we're gonna install here is an application called Newsbreak. So three, two, one. So before this gets finished here, who do you think is gonna win? Eh, judging by the looks of it, I'm gonna go A20. The Galaxy A20 has defeated the J7 when it comes to installing this application. So let's get to the next one. Now with the rules of my speed test here on my YouTube channel, if a device installs two or three applications faster than the other, it automatically wins and I get to the next part. So let's go ahead and finish the test out. And so the next application I'm gonna install here is TikTok. So three, two, one. Now, if I'm a betting man, I'm gonna put my money on the Galaxy A20. Let's see what happens. And that goes to the J7 Crown. So I would have lost my money there, but yeah, I guess the J7 Crown installed faster than the A20. So let's go ahead and get that third app underway. Now the third application is gonna be an app that I never use or heard of, Google Classroom. Three, two, one. Let's see who takes this one. And that goes to the Galaxy A20. So per rules, the Galaxy A20 installed two of the three applications faster than the J7 Crown. So at this point in time, we have a score of four to the Galaxy A20 and zero for the J7 Crown. So with this final part of the speed test here, what we're gonna do is a simple restart to see which device powers off and powers back on the fastest. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and close this video out in three, two, one. I'm gonna go with the A20. Let's see what happens. And the Galaxy J7 Crown powered on faster. So that concludes the speed test between the Galaxy A20 and the Galaxy J7 Crown with the A20 having four and the J7 crown having one. Now, am I surprised with the results of this speed test? Not really, it's exactly what I expected. The device that should have won was the Galaxy A20. It has updated specs, a little bit more RAM. It just made more sense for it to win. Now, when it came to the app opening test, I knew for a fact with the RAM management that the A20 was gonna take it. I didn't know that the J7 crown was gonna power back on faster than the A10 being that the A10 is faster in every other category. It's kind of weird. That does conclude this video here. If you guys want to see anything in the future with the Galaxy A20 as far as the speed test goes, or any other video in that matter, let me know in the comment section below. But Max Watt, please share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Watt. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces.